been quite a hard weekend. Um, coming to Donington is always interesting for motorbase and, and for airways racing. So on the motorbase side with the Carrera Cup, we've had another tough weekend. Still more work to do there, but we never shirk from work. We'll, we'll go and give it our best. Touring car side, it's been quite a hard weekend. You know, we've obviously had quite a frustrating time in the first two races. <clears throat> Liam got quite a bit of damage in race two, which obviously left us with a situation of what do we do with the car? Absolute fair play to the boys, 10 out of 10. They looked at the car and said, yeah, we can fix this. And obviously it paid dividends because Liam's gone and scored his first BTCC points because we got the car out. So I'm over the moon with Liam, I'm over the moon with the boys and the effort they made and the whole team and the sponsors and the support we've got today. I think it's been fantastic. I think Airways Racing uh, showed what they're made of and obviously onward and upward we want more points, we want to press on. Yeah, the second race was quite physical. I mean, I'm, some, I do look at the damage sometimes and think, my God, I've seen better driving at a fairground. But it, it looked a bit like that today. Um, but luckily, you know, we, we, we've managed to come out on a positive rather than saying, oh, we're damaged, we're, we're not in the race. We got the car fixed, we got Matt's cars, bits and pieces fixed, and the, both the cars went out for race three. And a fantastic race three it was for Airways Racing. So I'm very, very happy with the two drivers. I'm extremely happy with the work the team put in, and I think it's been a fantastic day. Now, you've got to look where Liam started from. He was at the back with Plato, um, finished up P9. Uh, I think that's fantastic. And obviously, Matt won the race. He started P10. Uh, and got to P1, and uh, there was a lot of, there was a little bit of luck in that, a lot of skill because you keep out of the way of the trouble. Uh, and I think that we got a little bit of justification, a little bit of luck came back our way for the, the tougher luck we had through the day. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the team, the drivers, and as I say, it's great for the sponsors and thank you for the support they gave us today. And a word on obviously Jackson's championship at Topes, that's really given them a boost, and the way you controlled that race was it was fantastic. I think it? so. I mean, Matt, Matt picked his way through a lot of carnage, kept out of trouble. He did take one little hit to the wheel, which he said he radioed in that um, you know that he had taken a hit to the wheel and it was a little bit out of kilter, but that settled down. He then came on the radio on the last lap and we told him the last lap and said, oh, I've got a vibration. And you know, immediately, like all of us, we think puncture going to happen, it's, something's wrong, he's not going to make it to the end. And he says, oh, by the way, I've had it the whole race. You know, I won't tell you the word I used down the radio at him, you can ask him what word I used. Because obviously if he's been there the whole race, it's not a problem. So, Matt did a fantastic job today. I mean, you know, four, three, two, and now a one. Yeah, that's just been you know, immensely difficult. You know, qualifying didn't get off to uh, to a good start. Um, fortunately, we only managed to cover one lap, so we were on the back foot from the word go, really. Um, to salvage what we have in race three, um, from what's been a difficult weekend with, with contacts in both of the first two races. It's been an uphill struggle, but you know, like to, to come away with a, with a win for Airwaves Racing and, and everybody else that's involved, and Sharp and Redstone and, and Leyland Paint. It's it's a fantastic result for, for the team. Uh, you know, what didn't look like it was going to be a good weekend has turned out uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so what was your feeling like, obviously, to cross that line after you know what has happened this weekend? Uh, it's always satisfying. You know, all the guys um, at Airwaves Racing put a huge amount into into prepping the car, and just to get the car here is is no mean feat. So um, you know, to, to actually come away with a, with a result for them that is a win is, is fantastic. Um, you know, it's worth winning just to see Dave's uh, Dave's face. It, it's nice that we didn't get it off the reverse grid. You know, the reverse yeah. grid drew nine. We were tenth, so we started tenth, and, and to come through and, and take the win from where we did is um, it's a fantastic result for everyone at Airways Racing. Uh, next round into Thruxton, we're, we're hopeful. Obviously, it's a circuit we've not been to, and it's notoriously difficult on uh, on tyres as well. Um, with the turbo, we find. Them bit more tyre wear so I think it's we'll see. Started fairly averagely. Uh, you know, race one finding the feet again. That's pleased with qualifying, race one didn't go great. Um, race two was obviously a disaster. Um, not my doing really. Quite a lot of damage obviously matched the crash place over, you know, as David said, when it came in, I mean the guys that brought me in saying that no chance about this end of your weekend. The airwaves, the mechanic boys come out, they look and they go, no, no, you'll be all right, we'll get this going. And so, you know, thanks to them, I mean, you know, they did a fantastic job of getting straight. Just a bit to them for getting me out. And I said to them on the radio, I said, you know, you've done your bit, you know, I'll try and make it worth a little while now. So, um, I've got a decent start for a change. And um, there's another bit of a melee, and I just decided to hook onto uh, the back of the fast guys and uh, had a nice little race with Jason, just basically tried to follow him and his, his car was struggling through some of the faster corners and gave me a chance to catch up on him. I couldn't get past him and then um, had a nice battle with Collard and you know, it, was, it was just great, you got Collard, Plato and O'Neill around you, know, what more do you want? So, great buzz, um, held on to a held position, 
the tyres really went off at the end and I unfortunately let Neil through, but I held on. And then um, came around, I knew I was P11 and I was just like, hey, you know, I'll settle P11, that's a, you know, that's a good progress for me. To see this great plume of dust in the, in the, in the distance and I was like, result. Yeah, it's a big confidence boost, you know, it's, just, it's, a, you know, it's a sort of monkey off your back, you know, you want to get that under your belt, you want to know that you can mix it with the, some of these faster boys, and you think, actually, I deserve it, I, I, I can be here, I can be out there with them. It's all about building blocks, as I've said before, it's a ten leg series, that's two legs out of the way now. Um, Liam's getting stronger, which is good, it takes a bit of pressure off of him to know that he can now do, do the performance he put in, the performance he put in today. And obviously Matt's consistent, Matt's always going to be at the front, hopefully, if we give him the car to work with. As long as we do our job probably for our drivers, then they'll pay us back the results. And I think that's a great building block today that shows we're going the right way and hopefully we're building on our best year ever.